During Parliament recess, I spent a week in the constituency, attending meetings, visits and local campaigning. Highlights included the Creative Industries degree and diploma show at Forth Valley College. The recess didn't stop Westminster from launching yet another assault on our Scottish Parliament. I received the UK government's demands at 10pm on Friday was because they're not just trying to torpedo the deposit return scheme, they're once again trying to undermine devolution in its entirety. Wales also plans to include glass in its scheme, leaving England out of step with the other nations, and then blocking the democratic decisions made in devolved areas. Doesn't business need a standardised system across the UK? Well, it's a great shame that the UK government in its English capacity doesn't recognise that, because we would have acted as Scotland did, and then they would have had the certainty and the continuity that they say business needs. The Westminster government is not just trying to scupper the deposit return scheme. They're hell-bent on undermining devolution. Keith Brown highlighted the UK's disregard for devolution in a debate on protecting the Scottish Parliament. He expressed concerns about their actions such as vetoing devolved legislation through Section 35 orders and violating the Sewell Convention. Like Parnell, I'm more inclined to insist that no man has a right to fix the boundary of the march of a nation. And indeed all the parties in this chamber signed up to the Smith Commission that said nothing should prevent this parliament moving on to become independent if that's what the people of Scotland uh, voted for. John McNally and I will discuss democratic deficits with guests on this week's I Matter show, airing Monday 5th of June from 8 till 9. Watch on Facebook, Twitter or YouTube. I supported the Trussell Trust Network's National Food Drive, aiding those in need. Recent research reveals Brexit has increased average household food bills by over £250, disproportionately impacting the most vulnerable. While Tories and Labour support a hard Brexit, the rest of us pay the price. Points I made on Broadcasting Scotland. We know that a third of food inflation has been caused by Brexit. It's quite directly attributed to that. 30% of our food comes in from, from Europe and a third of that food inflation, which equates to about £250 to the typical household. Check out Broadcasting Scotland's YouTube channel for an alternative to mainstream daily news. Follow them if you haven't already. As always, if you would like an advice surgery appointment or a visit to your local group or business, call me on 01506 654415 or email martin.day.mp at parliament.uk. And until the next time, stay safe out there.